Hey y'all, back at it again with the review with the Barla Eagle 1 version 2 seat. Um, and I also put on Barla's mirrors too, as you can see in this video. Um, but first, uh, before I get any further, I got kind of annoyed on this ride because I realized that once I started hitting the bumps in the road, my mirrors were sagging. Right at this point, my mirrors sagged so much I couldn't see behind me, which uh, as a writer, I personally hate that because I always want to know who's behind me. I don't want to have to, you know, look behind me while I'm riding. Uh, I just think that's extremely dangerous. Um, and of course, there was no safe place to pull over up until the end of the street here, which I'll let you watch. I'll definitely be sure to tighten my mirrors uh, before the next ride. All right, so now that I'm back on the road safely and I can see behind me, um, I just wanted to point out that doesn't it look like I am a giant six foot four alien bobblehead? when I'm sitting down on this scooter. Uh, the scooter is so small compared to a guy like me and just with the way the camera angle is, uh, that was cracking me up as I was editing this video. Another cool thing while shooting this video was there was a guy getting ready on the side of the road doing uh, road work and uh, I had to pull over for a car to pass and then uh, he got so excited about seeing me on this thing he just had to ask me more questions. Um, come to find out his son's really into these things too so I had a surprise for his son. Check it out. What's that? How fast that go? This one here goes 40 miles an hour. Holy shit. How but, much is these? But this one here is the latest model. It runs, I think, about 1800 bucks. 10 years old. <laughs> so you probably want them to go with like the Wasp, which is like, uh, it's like a three or $400 scooter. It just powers by one little wheel in the back. And it only goes like 15 miles an hour. It'd be perfect for him. But, yeah, when I bought him his little 50 cc dirt bike, like four years ago, he finally sees the motor up last year, year before. Um, it tops out at 30. I got some I need to give away. You're actually going to give them away? I, yeah, I got too many. My house is getting smaller. <laughs> yeah, cool. What's your, uh, I'd love to have more local people to be a part of my channel and stuff. Yeah, we all have something weird. We all love the ride. And everybody goes, man, that looks so goofy with the seat on it, man. I'm like, yeah, not. but I've never driven it with the seat. Let me tell you, it's a whole new experience. <laughs> it's not the same as standing up on it. And I'm trying to like educate the public that these things aren't dangerous. They're very safe, you know, but people just get riled up over you impeding traffic or, oh, you're riding something illegal. It's like, it's electric. I'm not even polluting the air. It's just another way to get around. I know the rules of the road. I'm safe, you know. It's like, get off my back. Let me just have some fun. <laughs> and it's not everybody, but, you know. I got to get to work, though. It was really nice fun. meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Yeah, I look forward to it. And uh, if you're cool with it, I might stick you up on my YouTube channel later. All right, yeah. And then your son can check it out. All right, man. Take care. All right, switching things over to the night ride here on the way home from work and finally going to get back to the review and what I think of this thing. Um, I actually really enjoy the seat on uh, these scooters. This is the first seat that I've ever applied to any of our scooters. Um, I think it's uh, comfortable and smooth considering uh, you do have to kind of put your feet on the edge of the deck and kind of push down a little bit to kind of keep the uh, steering a little bit stable and it is a little awkward because it's so small when you do try to turn that's a little different than when you're standing up the seat ha itself has a shock absorber on it and combined with the shocks on the scooter i haven't even felt a, a hard bump at all even when dips just super comfortable believe it or not with it to sit on this thing especially with a guy my size also to me uh this scooter as far as like performance goes does not change either way whether i'm sitting or standing i mean it's just as fast um, it handles just the same it goes as 
same speeds up and down the hills and on the straightaways uh, without no problems. Uh, so both sitting or standing is the same as far as performance goes. The other cool thing that I wanted to mention too that the seat does come with is with a rack. Um, and as you can see the little signal behind me right here, it's a turn signal backpack which I normally wear on uh, my back. Uh, but with the rack I'm able to just use a bungee to kind of strap it down and then I have my turn signal for my scooter this way too. Plus it's good for anything else that you would want to take or strap down behind you. Um, it also comes with an extended bar um, that is attached to the rack for those that want to use the kid carts behind them. All right, well, that's all that I have for now. Remember, dress for the slide and not the ride. This is Shawnee Rick signing off.